Hello, my name is David Newnan and I'm the Dean of the Graduate School of Education here at Anaheim University. I'd like to uh, welcome you to the University and to give you a brief introduction to one of the most exciting programs that we've developed so far within the TESOL School. This is the Certificate in Teaching English to Young Learners. This is a very important certificate for us because the teaching of English to young learners is probably the fastest growing area of uh, education, certainly language education around the world and in most countries throughout Asia, Latin America and Europe, the age at which English is being introduced as a compulsory subject is being lowered further and further every year. Let me give you just a brief introduction to some of the content that's covered in the uh, certificate. What we try and do is to give you a balanced introduction to the theory and research of teaching young learners, but the essential focus of the certificate is a practical one. At the end of the certificate, you should be very well placed to uh, go into classrooms and to teach young learners. The first couple of modules look at the very important question of what it is that we mean when we talk about young learners, because the the term itself is a very flexible one and uh, young learners can stretch anywhere from about the age of three through to about the age of 15. At the very beginning of the uh, course we stress the importance uh, of developmental appropriacy. You should be matching the things that you do in the classroom, the learning activities and the aims and objectives of your teaching to the age and developmental stage of the learners. So of course as you could well imagine the kinds of things that you do with learners at the age of three, four or five will be very different from the kinds of learning activities that you would develop and implement in classrooms for learners who are 9, 10, 11 and 12. Modules in the program range across the four skills, so techniques and procedures for teaching, listening, speaking, reading and writing. An introduction to the three language systems of grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation. And then there's a range of other modules introducing you to things such as learning styles and strategies, resources for learning, assessment and evaluation, and also, very importantly, the use of technology and computer assisted language learning. Let me now just give you a brief idea of the kinds of things that you would engage in if you want to take the certificate in teaching English to young learners. First of all, we have uh, set readings based on our textbook the Teaching of English to Young Learners, published by Anaheim University Press. There's also, uh, for each module, an extensive video lecture, which includes snapshots of teachers working in classrooms with young learners, an expansion on some of the content that's introduced in the set readings, and also discussions among teachers about some of the core issues in teaching young learners. Another important and engaging aspect of the certificate is the opportunity that you have to connect with other students around the world, other people who are studying to be teachers of English to young learners. And this happens through the discussion forum. The discussion forum provides you with an opportunity to discuss key issues and questions and carry out tasks with other learners and also to interact with the course tutor who will provide you with feedback and guidance on the discussions that you're having. And then the final element uh, in each of the modules is an end of module quiz which will test your understanding of the content that's covered in that particular module. I hope this brief introduction has given you a, a taste of the uh, exciting certificate in the teaching of English to young learners uh, which we run here at Anaheim University and I'd like to strongly encourage you to think seriously if you're interested in the teaching of English to young learners to think about undertaking this exciting 15-week program.